Hi, this is Tarot Reader and I'm in this video I'm going to discuss the love reading. Um, these, this is specifically the love, the sex life, the last life of a person based on their zodiac signs. Okay, now in this video I'm going to cover the zodiac sign which is Virgo. Okay, uh, for Virgo zodiac, okay, you've drawn a lot of marriage cards. Now this particular uh, love, lust or sex reading. The timeline is July 2017 till January 2018, the first six months. Okay. Page of Pentacles is reversed in the past. Maybe you were looking for a certain specific proposal, a marriage proposal or someone to respond with some kind of a sexual advances in the past four or five months and it did not happen or it did not happen the way you expected or you wanted it because page of pentacles is a very tangible card it's related to messages and some form of communication but the card is reversed that means it did not come through when it was needed or when it was expected the first three or four months at least till october or november 2017 uh, your, your cards show a lot of uh, you know jealousy issues okay but somewhere um, you know what is consistent is the marriage aspect the marriage element whether you are a Virgo woman or a Virgo man uh, the chances of a marriage in the next four or five months or at least till uh, Jan 2018 are very much high or at least finding a proposal if you're unmarried yes because see, four of wands is upright that implies some kind of a celebration, uh, purchase of property or a marriage in the, in the next three to four months. Okay. Ten of pentacles is reversed as well. That's a card related to uh, a marriage in the family or purchase of property or maybe um, renovation of an existing property for some kind of celebration. The card is reversed. Yes, there will be some hurdles, some monetary issues which will affect the plans. Okay. Also, you have some people who are very jealous of you, some people around you maybe your siblings maybe your cousins or maybe uh, you know the siblings of the man or the woman you are involved with because two of pentacles is reversed in a root position that means you're juggling too many things you're taking in more responsibilities than what you can manage okay so be careful you need sometimes you need to relax a bit or sometimes you need to take only those commitments which you can manage not the ones which are beyond your reach king of wands is in the crossing position see especially if you're a Virgo woman I see you getting a proposal from a man who's very charming. He's elder to you. Okay. He comes from a position of power. He's a man who's very aggressive, very manipulative, very cunning. If he wants something, he wants it. That's how he is. He is someone who has a strong professional background. People respect him a lot. He's blessed with money. And this is a man who loves life. He loves his woman. He loves his drinks. He loves his parties. Okay. Either he's looking for an alliance for his son or... Or... He could also be the man who himself is after you for all the wrong reasons. Maybe lust. Yeah. So be careful on that. If you are uh, someone who's open to a relationship without commitment, then this is a man who can show you the dreams. I mean, when it comes to passion, when it comes to intimacy, when it comes to taking you out, when it comes to gifts, he knows how to pamper a woman. Similarly, for a Virgo male, okay, uh, I do see you getting a proposal from a from the i mean from from a man who wants his daughter to be married to you a man who's rich powerful and aggressive the only thing you need to know is you're not supposed to get into an argumentative mode with this person that's something you have to control sun card is upright so between october november december the, the middle two to three months october november and december is when uh, there could be a possibility of marriage or some kind of a legal favor sun when it is upright it brings legal favors it brings improvement in health if you're getting a surgery or any kind of treatment you might get the right treatment from the hospital where you're getting it done uh, it also implies getting connected to people who are from political background or the public sector or the government background. They have money, they have power. They are very short-tempered, very aggressive, very adamant, but people who can make things happen for you, people who can pull strings. Sun is also a card which brings short-term flings with people who are very rich. If you're a Virgo woman, you might end up sleeping with someone who's a VVIP, okay? If you're a Virgo man, you might have a fling with a woman who is someone from a prominent family and this is a card which not only brings pleasure but it also brings flow of money around the same time 
The last three months, specifically November, December and January 2018, King of Swords is reversed. If you're someone who's already married, okay, then your spouse could give you some trouble. Whether you're a Virgo woman or a Virgo man, your better half could give you trouble. King of Swords reverse could also imply uh, someone in between who gets involved. Could be a lawyer, could be a counsellor. An elderly man who has a blunt tongue is very shrewd and capable in his craft, but he's not someone who is being very uh, understanding standing towards you or maybe he's not someone who wants to listen to what you're trying to tell him um, ace of cups is reversed this is a card of strong passion when ace of cups is reversed it implies especially in the last three months november december and january 2018 so a passionate affair or a passionate relationship ace of cups reverse if you're a virgo woman be careful it's a card of unwanted pregnancy so try and avoid um, you know getting intimate with someone without the right protection if you have indulged in you know uh, intimacy without taking any contraceptives <coughs> excuse me without taking any contraceptives or, uh, or protection take some tablets or, or, or uh, i mean consult your doctor ace of cups reverse could also imply that you are going after a relationship which is only going to give you sex and pleasure but not commitment so be careful. It's a card which brings a certain amount of pain. For the Virgo man, be careful. You might get involved with a woman who gets pregnant. Not just that, she might not be willing to let you go. So if you've given her false commitments, you need to make a way out with it. You need to find a way out. Uh, two of Swords is upright. There is someone who has a lot of jealousy against you, whether you're a Virgo man or woman. Someone who hates you, someone who has a lot of jealousy towards you, someone who cannot stand you. And that hatred and acrimony is literally visible in, towards each other. And that person could trouble um, you after November. So be careful. Uh, King of Cups is reverse. See, a lot of kings have come up in this reading. I see a lot of men involved who are either trying to help you get married or who are connecting you with someone who might be the man or woman you are getting intimate with but king of cups reversed implies a man who's elder to you very emotional very clingy he comes from a political background or is very rich but at the same time very stingy he doesn't like to spend his money but this man has power he has money and he also has a lot of feelings for you so post november is when i see this man helping you especially for a virgo woman this is a man who can make you feel loved yes for the Virgo man, uh, this is a man who's a generous friend and he's someone who might connect you to one of his girlfriends. Yes. So be careful. All I'm saying is that if you're someone who's looking out for marriage, okay, marriage is on the cards. Yes. Try to wear a lot of browns, a lot of beige, a lot of purple, a lot of reds in your clothing. Yeah. And wear some gold ornament on the body. Yes. Yeah. Uh, any doubts yeah i you can post comments on the video yeah uh, one more thing uh, do like my video do subscribe to my channel it's just a click of a button nothing else it's not going to cost you money yeah and feedback is always welcome yeah blessed be tarot reader bye